Tony, your general thoughts after a game like this? Yeah, I mean, I it took a little of the joy away at the end, the way they they uh, turned us over, and um, we had some unforced errors. But um, but we made our free throws. They missed the front end of a bonus, but the other guys stepped up and made their free throws. And I thought um, they have guys who can make individual plays off the bounce, and they make tough contested shots. But I, I felt like we needed length on the floor to guard those perimeter guys uh, to the best of our abilities. And I thought DeAndre, um, was doing a good job, and then Isaiah blowing up the ball screens. We were just trying to make them work. Again, 19 offensive rebounds. Um, the young man had 10, um, but I, I liked our variations offensively. I thought we played solid, but just left a little bad taste how we turned it over at the end. But a quality win, and you just keep fighting. Okay, over here to the left, Sam. Uh, what did you think of DeAndre kind of in the middle of the zone there, and, and how he kind of maybe gave you guys a spark after sure. a slow start? Yeah, sometimes we put Ty in there. We had Isaiah in there a little bit, but it was mostly DeAndre. And then and then Ty, um, just because you want a guy who can you know score a little in there, and make some plays, and it's it's a little disconcerting, or I don't know what the exact right word is, but they're coming from behind, they're surrounding you, um, so you got to be pretty solid in there. And then they switched a little bit how they guarded us. I think in the second half they matched up a little more. Um, that dunk that DeAndre had would have been pivotal, but he was attacking. Ty was in there, and then you got to make some threes to open it up. And um, I thought. Um, we needed that playmaking ability in the high post, and DeAndre did a real good job. And I liked his length. I thought defensively we could switch the ball screen. He was key on bothering Battle, or if it was um, um, Bissett, I think that's how, uh, O'Shea Bissett. Yeah, I thought his length bothered a lot of their shots. Tony, did you guys intend to take half your shots from three-point range, or well, how much did the big guy have to do with that too? Yeah, he's <laughs> well, ten offensive rebounds. He had two blocks. You just want to get quality shots. You know you're going to have to. I mean, they were pretty. I maybe two or three. I thought, and I'll go to the tape. Were maybe a little rushed and not good shots. But we had some really good looks. We rotated the ball, got them to rotate. So feet set, you know, lining up the seams. You got to take those. So I was okay with the majority of those three pointers. Early in the second half, Ty, who had uh, sat out the last six minutes of the first half, hit three three pointers in, yep. a, in a four possession span how big was that huge as I said the you got to open up so then they started matching up and tightening up a little up top and then that opened up the high post to get it in there and um, you know there was just enough plays made and again um, making the free throws and then just handle the ball against the press a little better um, but it's good to be in that spot and we'll, we'll learn from that and hopefully clean up some of those things but uh, um, the ability to hit that shot at the top of the key is is important Tony, how much awareness did you preach to your guys about Syracuse's length at the basket? Because there was that one sequence where Devin has the air ball, Isaiah gets the rebound, and rather than force something, he kicked it back out, and then Devin makes the three. That was big, yeah. And but did, did you preach that to, to your guys? You have to be aware of your surroundings and to kick it back out off rebounds yeah, like first that? first play of the game, Jack, we went down to him. And I mean, he, he went up, and it just – you'll see, watching them on tape – they just launch. When you go up and catch it at that block, three guys, two guys are just up and they launch. And there's so many shot block shots and plays that way. You know, we were talking, do you tell your guys to and just spit it back out for shots? Kind of what Isaiah did. So they're so good in that zone and they cover stuff quick. I think sometimes you have to attack, try to draw fouls. We had just enough, but that was a key play because um, the awareness, as you said, that Isaiah showed, you can't just muscle your way through it. And with a 7 2 guy, there's not going to be a lot of good stuff happening when you challenge them at the rim. Tony, in the ACC opener, you got two points from the bench. Since then, you've got a ton of production. Is that just guys playing better? Is there a, something you've done with rotation or emphasis that, that's led to that? No, I think guys are just you know playing better. They're, they're a little more comfortable in those spots. And DeAndre's been a big key to that. Again, Nigel wasn't used as much today. The size, I, I just thought the length of they, they can shoot over you. And um, I thought that was important to to get you know the, our length on there. But DeAndre, I think, has been a key in that. And um, the mobility of, we put Isaiah on the five so he could be aggressive on the ball screen. And I thought that helped drop, you know, make them sort of set their offense further out and uh, just went with those guys that, um, it's not that you don't get tired, but you're not moving around quite as much offensively. So I think you can ride guys a little harder with the minutes. Uh, you limited Ty's battle to 12 points today, third lowest total of the season. What was the key kind of locking him up? Yeah, I think we were very stretched out early in the game and through portions of it. Uh, coach did a good job of spreading us out, and we didn't 
get ourselves in the gap, and then you know they just they would attack off the bounce, and he made some tough shots. But we got a little better as the game wore on, and again, whether it was Devin, Kyle, uh, or DeAndre on there making him shoot those tough shots, and just kind of over the course of the game, if you're going to make them, they're all going to be contested, and I think most of them were, and that hopefully the percentages bear out contested shots over you know a 40-minute game. Coach, Devin Hall had eight assists today. His playmaking seemed to sort of open things up. What did you think about what he was doing, especially getting in the lane and dumping it to your big guys? Made some really good plays. Loved how he made his free throws, um, made some nice passes, was really good. I know he was discouraged at the end, some of the turnovers, but thought he played a good, tough game. And again, we asked him to guard on both tough players and then come down and do things offensively. But yeah, that stat line, minus the four turnovers, eight assists, 13 points, eight of eight from the line. We needed all of it. Just how satisfying is it with the problems you've had against Syracuse in the past couple of years? This hasn't been their greatest record to this point, but uh, I imagine you have a lot of respect for them. Sure do. No, again, just saw the plays they made. I knew this was going to be a battle. Those are two teams that really do pride themselves on trying to play very good half-court defense. So, um, and obviously we've been in, you know, they have a way. I was watching today the St. Bonaventure game, and I saw them, even though they lost that, they turn them over when they get into their press. I think those guys are so good at their anticipation because that's what they do in their zone off zone defense that um, I had a feeling we were going to have to be good in the press. And um, again, we've been in those games, and they've turned us over. In the Elite Eight game, they really turned us over. We had trouble. Last year against them, we were up big, and, and um, we had trouble. So it was good to finish it. Though it was wobbling a little bit, we still finished it, so we'll take it.